Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. So check it out. This is the NES Classic Edition, and I wanted to show you the actual thing in action because a lot of people uh, had asked for this per my last video by a show of the thumbs up. So thanks for that. Um, but here it is. So let's go ahead and kind of do a quick walkthrough. I don't know how quick it'll be, but let's do a walkthrough nonetheless. Uh, taking a look at the very top of it when you boot this thing up, we've got display. You get three different options. You can do a pixel perfect option, which is kind of an upscaled version. It's going to give you larger black bars on the right and the left hand side uh, when you compare it to the 4.3 option. And then we also have our CRT filter, which kind of gives those wavy lines across the screen. So that's kind of a throwback to the retro days when you might play it on a CRT display. Under options, you can turn the demo on or off, the auto shutdown, as well as the screen burn and reduction on or off. Because when you leave this sitting for a while, it goes through what I think is kind of a neat little screen saver. Uh, I'll see if I can get it going towards the end of the video for you guys. Under language, this is what pops up when you first turn on the NES Classic for the very first time. You choose the language, but you can go back and change it if you need to. And then we've got our legal notices. If that's your sort of thing, you can read the IP notices as well as the open source software details if you're really bored and you've got the time. Uh, and then we've got manuals, which is a QR code, scan it and get all the manuals that you need. So here's the 30 games. I do want to call a couple of things out before I show each one of these to you. I'm not going to open up each game, but before I tell you what's on this NES Classic Edition, you can sort them. So on the controller itself, if you hit select, you can sort these by two player games and you'll notice the indicators for 1P or 2P. Uh, you can sort it by recently played by the number of times played, by the release date, which is kind of cool, uh, by publisher, and then of course by title, and that's where we're at here. The other thing I'll call out is notice the little circles next to the one or two player indicator. There's four of them. Those are your suspend points. So each one of these games is going to, when you press down here, it's gonna have four save points. So you don't have to use passcodes or anything like that like you did in the early days. Each one has four save points, so that's pretty cool. You, here's what we get. So let's walk through them and then I'll open up a game. We get Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, say that three times fast, Castlevania, Castlevania's Two Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon to the Revenge, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, one of my all time favorites, Ghosts and Goblins. This is a game that when I was a kid, I got this for Christmas. I had a Nintendo Entertainment System. This was the only game I got that Christmas and it just blew me away at the time. I loved it. I played it to death. Still holds up for me. Still very challenging too. Uh, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, that's the original Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, another great title right there, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream. So no, this isn't, again, for those of you who were in the NES days, this is not Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It is Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream, probably due to licensing issues nowadays. Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, as well as Super Mario Brothers 3. Tecmo Bowl, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and that's it. So. We get a, I shouldn't say that's it, because that's a lot of good games. And when you think about it, for this device only costing, let's just round it up and say $60, you're paying basically $2 a game, probably less, because you want to include the hardware. Remember, they throw in an HDMI cable and a controller. You're getting a real good deal here. And these are games that, for the most part, are gonna stand up. They're gonna give you hours on end of gameplay. Some of them are shorter than others, but you start getting into Zelda and these other ones and they just really hold up well. So let me scroll through here. I'm gonna go over to, I don't know, let's do Super Mario Brothers 3. Remember, I am pixel perfect mode right now, so I'm gonna hit start and we'll just play a little bit of it. Now remember, you're probably not gonna get the full effect here because you're watching this on YouTube and YouTube is gonna do something a bit of a conversion here but I will tell you this it looks outstanding and I'd almost say it looks better than what you would find on the eShop for the Nintendo Wii U believe it or not and going back to that price point it's cheaper too because 
you're not going to be able to buy these games on the eShop for a buck fifty, two dollars. So uh, that's pretty impressive in itself. Hey, get back here. Um, so we'll just play a little bit of this one so you can see what it looks like. Um, trust me, I am better than this. <laughs> Um, but I am rushing through it at the same time. So you get an idea of what this is going to look like. I mean, if there are certain games that I play through this just a little bit that you want to see in the future, that you actually want me to do some kind of a playthrough of, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do it. Nintendo playthroughs of these games on a weekly basis. Let me know. Um, but I think that's good enough for now because I do want to show you some of the other features of this with those display modes. Again, this has been pixel perfect. Um, now, if there's one downside of this console, I'll mention this. Unless it's close to you, you're going to have to get up out of your chair because when you want to reset and go back to a different game, you actually have to hit the reset button on the console itself. It's not built into the controller or anything like that. Now, before I change the display mode, do you see the little icon floating with wings? If I press down right now, I can save this. So I can hover over any one of these save points and hit A, and now it's saved. So that's how the save system works. And if I go down, you can see that there it is. Um, but let's go ahead and go up into display, and I'm gonna change it to 4.3 now. So now we're in 4.3, and um, let me go back down to the game. I'm gonna just pick up where I left off. And so this is 4.3 mode. So now you can see what that looks like, a little bit different. Um, I'll tell you that, that that other version is really clean. I mean, super, super clean on a TV. I don't know how it's gonna come across on YouTube, but I will tell you, it's really just, I don't wanna say high def, um, but it looks nice. It looks really, really nice. So we'll play this one for a little bit in 4.3 mode. This is always a great game. Let's do the slide. <laughs> that always cracked me up as a kid. And I love Tanuki Mario. Um, so let's see if we can't get some speed here and do a run and a jump. Oh, man. Come on. Ah, oh, just at the last minute, too. So if you run fast enough, if you don't know, uh, you'll hear this kind of little high-pitched noise, and then you can fly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reset. This is going to take us back. I'm going to save. I'm going to overwrite that one. I could put it in, you know, I could hover it over the second slot or whatnot, but I'm going to overwrite it. Oops. Let me go ahead and hit reset and do that again. So uh, I will hit A. There we go. So now it's saved it, as you can see. Um, and let's go ahead and change the display. So now I'm going to change it to CRT filter and go back. And we're going to pick up where we left off. Kind of blurry. <laughs> Don't you think? So, I mean, this is if you, and it looks like it didn't really save my other game here. So I'm going to have to figure out, I may have done something wrong there. Um, as far as I know, you can overwrite save games, no problem. Um, but let's go ahead and go here. And you'll see what this looks like. So I don't imagine that anybody will play this version for too long. Um, I don't know. Maybe you will. Uh, but you get an idea of what it looks like. So this is kind of a throwback to the original days. There we go. So now I can fly. Kind of gives you an idea of that. Um, but I tell you what. Let me go ahead and re hit reset here. And I'm going to exit out. And I am going to hit down. There you go. So I was doing a quick press before. You actually have to hold it down. And I guess that's kind of built in because there's no prompt that says, are you sure you want to overwrite? So if you hover over one of your suspend points, uh, you can basically hold the A button down for a longer period of time and it will overwrite it. So let me go back up here to display. I'm going to change it back to pixel perfect. And we'll come back here. And let's I don't know is there something else you want to see um, let's take a look just because I said it was one of my favorites at ghosts and goblins and you'll be able to see this I had so much fun with this game when I was a kid 
still do. I actually have this. I purchased it on the eShop for my Nintendo 3DS. Um, but it's definitely difficult and it kind of can get frustrating because as you play through, you have to get to certain points, otherwise it pushes you all the way back to a level and it gets really challenging. So, of course, there were super ghosts and goblins or super ghouls and ghosts and stuff like that, but you get an idea for what this looks like. So, let me go ahead and hit reset. And we're going to exit out of here. And that's it. So this is the classic or the NES classic edition. You should be able to, if you keep your eyes open, you should hopefully be able to find one before the holiday season. Like I said before, this really makes a great gift. I mean, look at all the games you're getting. You cannot go wrong with this. There's going to be something for everyone in here. We've got sports. We've got shooters. I remember playing Gradius too. Um, we've got your Zelda games, you've got your Mario games. I mean, there's a little bit of everything here for pretty much anyone. And if you didn't watch my other video, a must have with this is a controller extension cable because the controller only has about two feet length cable, which is way not enough. Um, but other than that, it is a great little system. I have no complaints about it. And at the price point, you can't go wrong. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content. If for whatever reason you find this intriguing and you want me to do some separate videos of playthroughs of certain games on the Nintendo Classic System, let me know in the comments down below which game it is that you want me to do a playthrough of. I'd be happy to do it. And... Uh, Thanksgiving here in the U.S. is coming up soon, so I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care. So here's an example of that kind of screensaver that I told you about. almost forgot to show this to you. But it kind of cycles through with different games. So you might see Mario. You might see, uh, I mean, you'll always see Mario kind of running around here. But those backgrounds can change. You might see Mario. You might see other images that appear. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Uh, and it's a good little screensaver. And then, of course, for the demo feature, it also goes through. And it will automatically open up different games and just give you a quick little demo of those titles as well, which you may not see here. But nice little screensaver built into the system for when you're not playing it, so you don't get screen burn-in or anything like that, if that's still a thing these days. Uh, and that's about it. So hope you enjoy the video. Talk to you soon.